we talked about moving and rotating our components to roughly the place that they want to be and so we're going to talk about how to actually mate them what relationships we need to uh, to put that push button in a hole alright so it starts with this uh, paperclip icon that's our mate icon but you can also invoke it quite a few different ways one of the other ways is by I'm gonna select the body of this chamber um, and you see this come up okay and I can select this edge the same thing comes up so normally I like to get a nice hunk of the component invoke the mate command over here it's gonna show me that I did select the face one on on uh, red button so it knows what I selected and now let's move in on this a little bit because you can select in quite in, in a couple of areas you can select this edge you can select that edge or you can select this face alright so by doing that it automatically selected a concentric relation which is in fact the one that I want and concentric means that I have centered about a circle <laughs> sorry um, so now we're gonna um, give it a second mate so this guy is locked in in this direction okay there's not a whole lot of mates so that cover is gonna come with me but notice that it is now this this switch button this push button excuse me is related concentrically to this circle so let's uh, select a face and let's move in and rotate a little bit um, because you can select two components you can select either this face or this edge they're both roughly the same thing um, I would suggest if you can always select the face that would be your best bet because sometimes the edges give you some crazy stuff um, and so there's our first component mated into its position and what we want to do is just mate this to let's double check our base unit is frozen uh, so that's our anchored guy we're gonna give this a mate um, I'm gonna just come in a little bit closer because I wanna make sure I select the face and select this face click OK select this face and select this face select all right and this edge to now sometimes when you're selecting an edge you can you gotta be careful because you can uh, can actually clamp down uh, it it rotates over itself it's it's kinda ugly and you will see it so I click yes and everything's looking good in our next one we're just gonna populate I wanna keep these videos small so join me in the next one and we'll populate the buttons and joystick